really special place. So people, a lot of pe our community is so small and and quite unusual that not everybody gets it here. Some people come here and they fall in love and they want to come and live here and they want to know how they can do that. And other people come here and they just see some strange, odd little island where not much happens. And but I don't know how that works in people's heads, but some people really, really connect to the place. And yeah, you clan really connect to the place. So the Lazy Bed Restoration Project on Rum that by you clan is, um, I'll, as soon as I heard about it, I was really excited by this. And the, the, yeah, the staff have been really, really helpful with the community to get more involvement and asking how they think the project can work and if they think the project can grow and we have we have local people who are interested in the the social history of rum and this kind of project just just drops straight into the into the niche of of, of that of that history the, the settlement over at harris is kind of really important to us it, it was um and the, the the fact that there's all of the the people on rum were cleared including the, the huge community over there has, has a huge impact on, on how we live today when pe people, people look at the island full of uh, maybe incomers and there's no indigenous population left. Finding out how they used to live and how they used to feed themselves is, is really interesting and it's just a, it's fascinating for us because it just looks like it was such a hard life. And from the trial plots that, that UCLan have carried out already, we can see that it was a really hard life because it's, it's backbreaking work. Potential for the, for the Lazy Bed Restoration Project to grow into more of a, a social history project. How, we, how the indigenous people of Rum used to live, what did they do? How they, how they, what did they grow vegetables? How they, how they managed that, what they did with their time. So one of the main benefits that I see from the new work of reinstating the lazy bed system is the effect that it will have on visitors to RUM NNR. So we get on average 10,000 visitors a year and they have got uh, varied interests and so lots of them are interested in the wildlife and the landscapes, um, but equally a lot of them are interested in the cultural heritage of rum. And this project is a little bit different um, in the way that it's not just the science behind it, it's kind of showing how people used to live and a bit of the history um, of rum and it's a type of history that's not well documented elsewhere so for visitors that come and visit the old village at Harris perhaps and a lot of them go to Komori as well and they'll see evidence of the run rig system then it will enable it to be brought to life a bit for them and we, um, we carry out an annual visitor survey um, and collect valuable feedback from visitors and it's one of the things that is highlighted when we ask things like what would have um, could have improved your visit or what sort of things would you like to know more about and it is one of the things that come up time and time again so we know that there is a demand for that type of um, information um, and being able to visualize it just brings it to life a bit and um, will add so much more to their visit. Um, so one of the more exciting aspects of this project on RUM is the graduate um, studentship that's resulted from it and by getting young people involved in science and out working on RUM National Nature Reserve is one of the objectives of Scottish Natural Heritage so it really helps us to meet that objective as well. <laughs>